Hi everyone, happy, happy new moon, new moon eclipse in Taurus. <laughs> my, my cards are just on another, you know, this should actually, actually, let's just do that. Okay, there we go. See, things like this happen in readings where the cards are just, you know, wanting to do their own thing. But yes, we have a new moon eclipse, which is happening in the sign of Taurus. Now, Taurus rules the throat chakra. So if you feel during this time that your throat is a little bit here and there, or if you feel the need or urge to really say something, that is the effect of this new moon. Some of you may also have a um, like a sore throat. You may um, have, you know, some like croaky, um, croaky throats. You know what I mean, right? Or you may have the urge to really, really speak up about something. That's definitely the um, uh, new moon energy is here. And also, if someone randomly contacts you, that's also very much so a uh, energy of the new moon. So yeah, it's definitely pushing a lot of people to contact and to communicate where they would usually not perhaps so that's definitely what's happening there so you know um moon energies okay whether it's a full moon or a new moon it always um is p most powerful around the 48 hours so if you're watching this reading and you're thinking oh i'm a bit late it's okay because the messages can still resonate with you and it can still make sense 48 hours before and after a full moon if you're watching this in the future you can still watch it because there can be some really interesting messages that might make sense to your situation this reading is for all star signs so if you're here i feel like it is a sign in itself and we're going to take a look and see what's coming through and what messages i can give to you so Yes, um, before I start, just wanted to mention a few very brief things. Um, so if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal um, services with me, like tarot readings, rituals to manifest different areas of your life for black magic energy removal, or uh, what was the... Uh healing work, prayers, there we go. <laughs> it's all listed on my website and down below. And then also there are intention manifesting items which thousands of people have seen results where these are handmade, meditated with and saged. The review sections at the bottom of my website and also there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow, wallet or your purse, candles, stage bundles, teas, etc. So it's all there. It's all there for your convenience to check out and Let's see, let's see what's happening here with this new moon. Okay, hello. Okay, now before I actually start with the actual reading, I really wanted to pull one of these messages because this is just so beautiful. Look at this. I am never alone at night because I know that the moon always listens. The moon is always listening. Okay, this is such a great time to speak your truth to the moon. The new moon is an amazing time to manifest, an incredible time. If there is something bugging you, if there is something that you feel is incomplete in your life, if there is something that is just, it eats away at you because you want to say something to somebody or you want to express your truth or you want to manifest something and you don't know how, speak it to the new moon, okay? I mean, admittedly, you're not gonna really see the new moon, okay? but it's there and it's listening. It is listening. And I think what's really important here as well is that this eclipse is happening in the sign that rules over your throat, which means that you will somehow still want to do so, right? You'll want to say all of these things and do these things. You don't have to tell the people, okay? Especially if it's in regards to another person, but you can tell the moon, okay? Because the moon is very powerful and that's how a lot of people manifest too. Remember when you manifest, you manifest, so you, you, know, you speak your truth to the moon and then you let it go. That is the key to manifesting. If you can't then let it go once you've manifested, then it creates attachment and attachment creates delays and attachment is not the key to the law of attraction. That's detachment, okay? So once you manifest and you say everything, you know, to the new moon and you get everything off of your chest or you write it down, let it go, okay? Let it go. This is your time to manifest. This is one of the best periods of time to manifest, hands down, which is why I've posted the video a little bit early as well, just so that you know, hopefully we, we catch, um, you know, a, a good amount of uh, people who can then listen to this and then manifest, you know, but you can always manifest when there is a, um, a new moon, regardless, you know, regardless of what, well, where it is. Um, so that's another thing as well. So this is a huge confirmation, okay, that you may think that nothing's really happening, but the moon's always listening. All right, let's go with some tarot cards and see, you know, 
what is this new moon actually bringing you? That's what I want to know. Look at that. Okay, so your new moon here is actually going to bring you a lot of thoughts. Okay, thoughts in terms of and, and feelings. Okay, so the new moon is going to bring um, feelings of all sorts. First of all, it's going to bring you feelings of growth. So financial growth, you're going to think a lot about where you want to be in terms of financial growth. It's also going to bring you fruits, which then manifest over the, you know, over time. I also feel that it's going to bring you a lot of thoughts in regards to things that serve you and things that don't serve you. And a lot of you will just want things to naturally grow. So I see here that there's a real sense of reflection. Yep. Oh, wow. There you go. Okay, Hermit, many of you will do some kind of ritual or you may just, you know, speak out your, your thoughts and words to the, the new moon. But I also see here as well that there is someone who's keeping their thoughts from you as well, which I think is really interesting. And they're wondering whether now is a good time to come forward. Look at that. We've literally got the Taurus energy come through with the King of Pentacles. Okay, with the bull right there. Ta-da. Can you see that? Sorry, the light is reflecting a lot there okay um and that's really quite powerful and then we've got here the nine of cups as well so you have a lot of wishes and things that you want to manifest and i really feel that this is the time when you're going to do so you may also feel like you know crying as well because that's a release and a release is great because it can lead to new chapters and new paths and i think that what's really beautiful is that the new moon is literally bringing in the new and you know, with the Nine of Cups, these are things that you've really wanted. You've wanted happiness, you wanted stability, you wanted fulfillment. A lot of you have wanted financial stability, romantic commitment. And so this is really starting things in a beautiful way where even if, okay, you're already dealing with someone and it's a difficult situation, it can allow things to have a rejuvenation. You know, your connection could go through a rejuvenation. There could be, you know, a lot more understanding, a lot more compromise that can you know, take place. And I think that's really beautiful. So what I will say is that, um, you know, your wishes are starting to align. And essentially, there are a lot of feelings, okay, that will come to the surface on your side, because of what this new moon is bringing you. But also, I do feel that on the other side as well, people will feel towards you, and they will understand more of how they've treated you and more of how they need to do things towards you. So let's see how people are feeling towards you. This new moon is bringing you financial abundance and it's also bringing you, there you go, seven of cups, all of the desires that you that you want, you know, so speak out those desires to the universe, whether it is love, okay, whether it is, uh, let's say, a dream home, whether it is um, financial abundance, so uh, love, dream home, financial abundance, this is interesting, the book, right? The book here is definitely, I think, um, some of you may be studying, you may be learning certain things, so it could be to do with that. But yeah, I definitely feel like, you know, there's also an area of protection here, you know, the things that you want to manifest. So I really believe that the things that you want, you can manifest um, here, especially because, wow, look at that, you've got judgment, which clearly goes to show that your path is clearing up. Now that's good, okay? Because imagine a plate, Say, for example, this is a plate and you've got a lot of things on that plate. Okay, so imagine you're at a buffet, okay, and you put things onto your plate, but then you maybe don't like some of it. So it's it's stuck on your plate, but then you want to grab the thing that you do like. It gets all mixed up, energies get all mixed up, may not taste so good because now it's mixed in with other things. So essentially you want to clear the plate in some way, either you eat the food um, you know, or, or whatever. So I think what's really quite significant here is that it's time to clear the plate. It's time to clear the plate energetically so that what is truly great comes through. And I also really believe that the things that you want will come through in time. So you manifest them now. In the future, it will happen. It's never too late to manifest. But what's really quite significant with judgment here is that people around you are going to be, like the tables are going to turn. They're going to start to see your true qualities. And as you rise, I feel that they will, especially people that are not, that have not treated you very well, um, yeah, see, Eight of Cups, those that have not treated you very well, those that have turned their backs on you, those that have walked away from you, those that have hurt you, those that have broken your heart, 
oh this is a time where the roles are going to reverse you're going up and they are like coming down it is really really interesting and you know we don't wish people to go downhill or you know or anything like that but that's just what i'm seeing here is that that you know their energy is is going down and um essentially they're going to I really feel that they are going to feel energetically in a very spiritual way that you're doing better and it's going to be triggering them. So we've got here the devil. Yeah, see, it's about letting go of attachment, which I think is quite significant here. Okay, so if you've had attachment towards someone that's really hurt you and not been very nice to you, it's also about, you know, trying to detach from that aspect. And I think what's really great and what's beautiful about this is the more you can detach and the more you can put yourself first, the more these particular areas, you know, will start to flow a lot better. So what is detachment? Detachment is healing. You know, it's about healing from the past. It's about healing from certain situations that trigger you. Okay, so if you feel triggered anytime something, you know, happens or something is said, it, it shows that healing is necessary. And also, every time, you know, you feel like you need to manifest out of desperation, that's also a trigger because something's triggered you. Um, and, you know, you only really need to manifest a little here and there. You don't need to manifest the same thing every single day. I think that's very important as well. Otherwise, that again is attachment. So the, the main thing here with the new moon is let go of attachment. You know, I think that that's really quite significant because that can also keep you away from things. But what's really interesting is that I definitely feel, okay, with the three of cups that people are going to celebrate you. And in the future, you know, all of this pain that has built up is going to show its true face because you are going to have love, you are going to have happiness, you're going to have joy, and I really genuinely do believe that things are going to get so much better for you. There's going to be a reversal that happens here where those that have treated you wrong start to see you living a good life, and the thing is, right, they could hear about it from someone else, they could see it on social media, or they could feel it spiritually, and it triggers them, it triggers them big time to come towards you because then they feel like they're losing you, and then they don't like the people who they're around because they're not high vibration and suddenly they want to be around someone who they now see as high vibrational and it's your choice as to what you choose to do about that at that time you know this could be friends it could be family members it could be someone romantic you know who maybe is not treating you very well and making you feel so little you know and then they start to see you do so well because of your manifestations and how you're actually putting yourself first here's the rejuvenation energy okay a rebirth is going to take place in your life so that is your affirmation. Your affirmation, uh, I have two here, okay? I always give an affirmation or two. But um, one here is a rebirth is taking place, which it literally is. You're going to be so much stronger, so much more powerful, so much more healed, so much more detached in a good way, that everything you want is going to come together. And that is also because you are speaking your truth. So one affirmation is, I'm speaking my truth. The second one here is, you know, a rebirth is taking place and the other one here is that the moon is always listening so if you wanted to comment any of those down below to claim this reading feel free to do so this is so beautiful and so incredible you know the nine of swords is all that pain and suffering that you have had to go through you know a lot of anxiety a lot of stress a lot of sadness but guess what you know with this new moon you are literally going to go down an avenue and a path of true friendships true love okay and it all happens when you're much more detached which is going to make people of the past and those that walked away from you okay and didn't see your worth and your value to actually now start to see your worth and your value this new moon is changing things it is absolutely making you so much more like emotionally stronger and it's putting you in a place of power which i think some of you feel that you don't have but you have you have I'll tell you for sure, you're going through an extreme transformation, okay? The death card is there to show a transformation. We've got the hanged man. You are spiritually evolving, and I think you're becoming a lot more comfortable also within yourself and what you have to offer, and that's also the hermit as well, and that is a recipe for absolute... That is... Honestly, when you can be comfortable within yourself without needing so much around you, that is the best recipe for the universe, to give you what you want, because again, that's detachment. Yeah, it's amazing. Also, detachment is meditation, okay? So doing all of these things can actually really align you to what you want. And uh, listen, that combined with the new moon is powerful because I do feel here, okay, that some of you may even get someone who comes to you and apologizes. It could be a family member, a friend, a romantic lover. That is my big prediction of this video, okay? So that's the actual prediction, is that 
There is going to be someone who feels bad for how they've treated you in the past who's going to come forward and say something and contact you um, during this um, period of time. So remember what I mentioned, it's 48 hours before and after. So basically over the course of the sort of like five days, um, I do see that a person here can contact you and apologize. The Six of Pentacles also shows that as well, you know. And then we've also got here the Queen of Cups. So we've got the king and the queen. So again, you know, I, I do sense here that things romantically will become better for you as time goes by. We've got the knight of cups here as well, which is obviously quite significant because this is, you know, someone coming towards you to apologize. We've got here the ace of cups, which is also quite powerful. Yep, this is someone literally coming towards you and expressing like, oh, I'm really sorry for how I treated you. We've got the five of cups. Yep, crying over spilt milk. And we've got the six of cups. Wow, we've got a lot of cups that just came out right at the end. So, um, yeah, wanting to make things right. Someone will want to make things right with you here, um, for sure. And that's the big prediction. And that's the thing is it came all the way at the end of the video. Typical. It's so typical, right, that that would happen. <laughs> but there you go, you know, because at the beginning I was talking about, you know, the new moon. And I know that many of you appreciate the guidance on, you know, manifesting and things like that. And um, But it, it linked so beautifully to the reading and what the cards were showing. So... I did mention it, um, and I just feel in so many ways that there's going to be someone here that feels bad for how they treated you, and then they're going to come forward, and they're going to express themselves, and it's your choice whether you really care to care. That That's it, right? If you care to care, that's your choice. If you don't care to care, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, but this is what we have, and there's a lot of feelings, okay? A lot of new moon feelings, feelings within yourself, feelings towards other people, feelings towards your past. Like, there's a lot of feelings. So I think I'm going to call this new moon feelings um, because there's a lot of feelings involved here. So um, of course, you know, comment down any of those affirmations I mentioned down below. Um, honestly, things are definitely going to take a rebirth in your life. I mean, you've literally got the star card and the death card. Those are both huge, huge uh, confirmations of that. And yeah, so this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And take care, everyone. Bye, everyone.